In this video, I am going to go through question five on the topic test that I set, as um, lots of people struggled with this one. And this question is taken from the June 2008 paper, and it was question six on that paper. So I'm going to put a picture of this below the video. But the question says that a man throws a tennis ball into the air so that at the instant when the ball leaves his hand, the ball is two meters above the ground and it's moving vertically upwards with a speed of nine meters per second. It's modeled as particle and it's moving freely under gravity and the acceleration due to gravity is used as a magnitude of 10. So here, for my acceleration, it's told me to use 10 meters per second squared instead of 9.8 that we normally use. And it says the ball hits the ground after a time of t seconds and we need to work out what that capital T is, so how long it takes for the ball to hit the ground. So let's just write what we know then. So we've got SUVAT and I'm going to take, I think I'll take downwards as positive here. Again, doesn't matter which one you take as positive or negative, but as long as you're consistent with it. So I'm taking downwards as positive. So the total displacement from the start to the end of the path of the ball, it has traveled downwards by two meters. So the displacement is two meters. U, well, the initial velocity is nine meters per second, but upwards. So therefore, because I'm taking downwards as positive, it's negative nine meters per second. V, I don't know. A, we know is 10 meters per second squared. We're saying the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared, unlike how we normally use 9.8. They've told us to take 10 in the question. And T, which we're trying to work out, I'm gonna put here as big T. So I've got S, U, A, and I'm looking for T. So I'm gonna use S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. And something what I know. Well, I know two is S, U is negative nine, I'm going to put a capital T because that's what we're using here. It's what we're trying to solve for. Plus a half a t, so plus five because half of ten t squared. I could rearrange that. I got five t squared minus nine t minus two is equal to zero. Now you could solve this. Probably can put it into brackets. Uh, I'm just going to solve it on my calculator because why not? I've got a calculator. Less likely to make mistakes. So what am I doing here? Sorry. Kids menu. Go to equation, it's polynomial of degree 2, and I've got 5t squared minus 9 minus 2 on the end. So I get that t is equal to 2 seconds, or t is equal to negative 0.2 seconds. Now clearly time can't be negative, so this is not a solution. And instead my answer is that the time is equal to 2 seconds. <laughs> 